Hi guys, welcome back to Power Cubicle Guy. Hope everyone is doing good out there. So guys, last week I developed a fun gaming app in Power Apps and uh, shared it with my team members and uh, everyone liked it so I thought of creating a video uh, for my channel and thought of uh, sharing the concept with you guys as well. Uh, let's see a quick demo. Once the user logs in, he or she will see this landing screen. So it's like let's be kids again and welcome the username will be displayed here and a button here let's play family and guys it's uh, based on Peppa Pig theme just for making it more fun so uh, once user clicks on this it's uh, it will move to another screen and, and will say can you arrange Peppa's family and these are the various uh, cards um, user can click on it's a just kind of bluff a screen like uh, we cannot move these images screen just for fun so once the, all these images are clicked uh, this bu button will uh, pop up which is arrange if user clicks on this one it, it will just combine all the images and give this uh, final uh, screen and um, if you see a quote is here for the teamwork alone we can do so little together we can do so much um, written by Helen Keller so just uh, kind of uh, teamwork motivational quotes and uh, Peppa Pig theme and then this button here click mate then again the next screen is uh, who is the writer of below quote if everyone is moving forward together then success takes care of itself so uh, answer is Henry Ford kind of quiz uh, format right and again if you see the background is uh, Peppa Pig family theme now if uh, I click on this game time button it takes me to another screen where uh, just uh, I have added an image of a snake and ladder and uh, written here help George to answer below question to win a snake and ladder game the most ice cream scoops balanced on a cone is 125 achieved by so uh, this is the correct answer but if uh, user selects a wrong answer suppose then a uh, Peppa Pig uh, image will be displayed at the bottom otherwise at the top so if user selects this it will show a Peppa Pig image here and if you see guys uh, submit button will get disabled so it's just uh, a one-time answer submission then another button Peppa Palace so if I click on this so here again I added an image of uh, Topkapi Palace which is in uh, Turkey so and here I have written a um, um, label or text like mummy pig wants to know the answer for below question so uh, this is the image for mummy pig <laughs> so guys this is just a, a kind of fun theme uh, related to Peppa Pig like I have added all the characters um, so if a user selects this that is the correct answer and submit so if you see again it got disabled so user can submit the answer only once so if a user wants to change the answer they cannot right um, now this is again um, will take us to the next screen peppa jump so guys if you see i have named the uh, text for these buttons uh, which are related to the uh, next screen so if I click this you will see um, another screen where a question is related to jump so just uh, for fun I have named that button like that Peppa jump so here Peppa Pig visited Melbourne Zoo and he wants to know how many penguins actually jump so here I embedded a, a gif image of uh, penguins jumping and the Peppa family um, visited the Melbourne Zoo so if you see um, uh, two penguins are jumping here right if you see the image uh, carefully two penguins are jumping here so correct answer is this and if I click on submit again it got uh, it, it will get disabled then uh, Peppa gate it will take me to another screen where daddy pig wants your help to answer a below question where is Brandenburg gate so uh, this is a beautiful um, uh, image of Brandenburg gate 
and it's in Berlin, Germany. That's the correct answer. So um, once user selects that and submit, it gets disabled. Then uh, I in the next screen I embedded few uh, languages and named this button as hello languages. So if I click on this one, it will take me to this uh, screen where I have embedded six languages to say hello in different languages and uh, given a text here identify the languages added the audio controls here for each language so for example if i play the first one Bonjour. again Bonjour. okay so this is uh, french where uh, it's saying hello second one namaste this is indian Ni hao. this is chinese Marhaban. This is Arabic. Привет. This is Russian. Hola. And this is Spanish. Then on the next screen, guys, I added another two audio controls for songs, just to make it more fun and more uh, uh, mood changing experience. So here, if you see, I have embedded the images of a famous singer uh, Sean and Camilla and Luis and Demi correct answer is Sean and Camilla and the second for this one is Luis and Demi so uh, <laughs> on this screen most of my teammates told that their mood got refreshed by listening to these songs so I, I thought uh, that was a good option embedding these two songs there and guys uh, the next screen is moving Peppa so here uh, just I added uh, three Peppa pigs um, images just moving and then writing a text can you catch me is just a kind of bluff screen uh, where we cannot catch the peppa and, uh, and a text will appear here you can't catch me move to next screen uh, just a kind of uh, a small fun there uh, daddy's big stomach is the next screen so if you guys uh, see i have added a text here individual effort is important but it's teamwork that makes the dream work so guys uh, it's uh, Along with the fun, I am making it as a motivational app as well, like uh, just for the uh, just to tell that uh, teamwork is so so important, right? And then I added a movie here from YouTube link uh, where uh, I have written on the uh, Daddy Pig's Big Stomach, uh, click its movie time. So if uh, user clicks on this one, it will take to the uh, movie uh, where. Uh, just added the link for the teamwork and make a dream work a motivational movie from YouTube and finally uh, the button for win this game so once the user clicks this it will take to the uh, final screen of the app and this screen I added a feedback page just to know the stars rating and the feedback comments from the uh, from my teammates if they like the app or that this like the app which section of the app they like they can add the comments there so just uh, text there appreciate your feedback kids uh, gif image of uh, a peppa family jumping <laughs> on the muddy puddles and uh, here the rating a user can select uh, one star to five stars right and add a, a comment awesome awesome work mate and finally can click on the um, log off kids button and will finally exit the user from the uh, app and will also email the score the user has earned uh, while answering the quiz questions so guys let's dig in and see how this can be done but before that a small intro So guys now coming to the how to part so how I developed this app and what are the screens involved in this so for, for the welcome screen as you see uh, here I coded this uh, let's play family button to just navigate to the uh, screen Peppa family and here in this screen I am using a couple of images here and as you see here I have named the images as are i1 i2 like that uh, i6 
so guys there is a heavy usage of uh, variables here on this screen uh, just to show and hide the images and objects and then uh, finally uh, displaying this um, arrange button which is again hidden and displayed based on the uh, variable value so guys I will not be going in a very much detail uh, level for these uh, screens because again it will be a very uh, a big video then so uh, let me know in the comment if you want to know the uh, uh, detail level videos I'll make a separate video on that so uh, once this uh, arrange button appears and user clicks on that it will navigate to the uh, Peppa family complete screen so on this screen um, just uh, added a label here a text label here and uh, just added the background image for the complete uh, Peppa family and uh, coded this uh, click made button to, to navigate to the next screen and as you guys see here I have named these screens uh, very carefully just uh, for the sake of clarity for me during the development like uh, from which screen to which screen it should jump and uh, all the screens I have made in order so that it will be uh, quite easy for me and guys are uh, using a global variable here named score which will increment the score on every correct answer so if you see here I am doing set score and then score plus 5 uh, so every time it will be adding a value to the existing score variable then um, the next screen is uh, code writer here I just added a text and a radio control and then checking on the game time button if the answer is correct and setting the score value um, increment by 10 here so as um, it was a kind of teamwork question I thought uh, score can be added to 10 here and then um, guys also you have to uh, also I'm using a hidden timer here so all the screens uh, are uh, timer controlled so that user uh, uh, the user of the app should not go to google and search the answer for the uh, question so there is a timer control there so uh, suppose if it is 10 seconds then um, user just gets time to read the question and answer it otherwise if they are going to type or uh, do a voice search on google the timer will get completed and they will not get any points uh, to the answer so here if uh, you see here I am checking uh, through a variable lost so if the timer ends then the lost variable uh, will get set to zero and then if it is uh, zero then user will not get any points uh, for this answer if even if he answers the correct one so uh, that is a, a quick uh, uh, idea you can add in your apps as well then moving to a snake and ladder uh, a screen here if you see just I added a snake ladders image uh, just for some fun purpose and uh, added another um, Peppa image here at the bottom just if the user's answer is wrong so uh, to uh, display the Peppa Pig's image here at the starting position otherwise it will get displayed at the top that uh, to show that user has uh, uh, reached the finished line so uh, here um, again the radio control is added and submit button will get disabled based on the uh, radio uh, answer is selected or not so once the user selects the radio option again uh, this button will get disabled as soon as the submit is pressed so here uh, on select if you see I have added the correct answer and setting the scores uh, variable incrementing it by 5 and the um, disabled comes with the option of display mode a display uh, mode setting by setting a variable here just um, display mode can be uh, edit or disable so ch uh, checking a variable value and uh, setting the uh, setting it to disabled or edit mode 
so uh, this uh, pepper palace um, button will take me to the next screen and setting some variables here again so guys i am not going in uh, detail of those variables it's uh, it will be a very uh, big video then and in the next screen uh, the photo quiz screen i have added this uh, uh, top copy palace image and then a uh, radio button uh, controls here in the similar kind of concept as in the previous screen setting the uh, uh, variables and setting the score variable incrementing it and then navigating to the penguin jump screen in the next screen uh, if you see here i have uh, added a image here a giphy and how many penguins actually jump so just again a radio control for the correct answer and then again a uh, peppa pig image here then uh, progressing through the app through peppa pig uh, peppa gate uh, button here and navigating to screen photo quiz number two here added the brandenburg image and then um, question here similar concept moving to hello screen um, hello languages screen here i added um, six audio controls as you see here and then added those uh, languages media in those uh, six controls and again these uh, controls are just the radio controls and if the user selects the correct answer that uh, check is embedded here in the sing song button again incrementing the variable counter if the answers are correct moving to next screen which is identify singers so here just added two images and audio controls with the answers identify singers and moving to next screen which was moving peppa so here uh, guys i added a timer control and just changing the positions of the uh, peppa pig to move across the screen so if you want to learn for this how the peppa pig was running i have created another video i'll add a link at the top of this screen so you can go and watch that video so uh, moving through the app i added um, this button daddy's biggest stomach where we can move to next screen which is a motivational video i just added a text uh, for the teamwork uh, again and on the daddy pig's biggest stomach added a movie link for the YouTube so as you see here I've used the launch function here and then finally on the win this game uh, button uh, incrementing the score again so guys overall I uh, developed this app for 150 score so that was the highest score right and uh, the final screen was the feedback screen so here i just added this text added the stars rating control and the comments and then finally on the log of kids uh, button what will happen is once the user clicks log off the overall score which user has earned uh, while uh, playing this app will be sent to an email id which was my email id and uh, the rating which user has given here and the feedback comments if any user has entered here all will get emailed to me from the user's email account and then finally it will exit the user from this app and set the score back to zero so guys hope this uh, video will help you to have some fun with power apps and uh, let me know in the comments if you want uh, a detailed video on any of these screens so guys, uh, have a great weekend and please do subscribe to Power Cubicle Guy. Thank you guys and see ya.